So guys, this is my review for Berserk 1997 original version, uh, episode 20. And with that, guys, let's dive right into this review of episode 20. Let's get it. And with that, it's pretty much where I'm going to just um, talk about it here in this image. Just because the episode, there wasn't really too much of a grandioso of a thing that ha had occurred until way at the end of the episode. Um, but it was it was fairly decent. Um, but... Yeah, I, I stated this in my reaction to episode 20 um, that, you know, Guts was just basically just trying to convince himself that, you know, what he was doing, he was on the right path. Of just um, finding himself and living living out his life on his terms, like he was saying, like, I'm no longer going to be basically living under the shadow of somebody else. I'm going to live for myself, um, you know, and that's, you know, that's basically how a lot of people uh, at some point in their life, they... Uh, need to you know do on their own because we're all you know we're all ind individuals and even in anime technically characters are individuals um, Guts is definitely an, an individual himself and he needed to uh, figure out uh, his own path um, so it was either you know stay with stay with uh, you know the Hawks continue to be uh, under Griffith or do his own thing which he was sort of kind of wanting to do uh, even though a lot of them didn't, you know, basically mostly everybody didn't agree with it. Um, and so he spends a whole year out with uh, Erica and her, her grandfather. Uh, I believe, if I remember, his name is Dodo, I think. I can't remember correctly. Um, please forgive me, definitely, if I said his name wrong. But, you know, he, at the same time, it still worked out for him because he was out. He was still training. Erica was helping him um, around the waterfall with the, the cut down uh, portions of trees. Um and you know, still, still showing signs of needing to work on uh, his responses when it's pertaining to those moments. Uh, but you know, once that occurred, he was able to. He he literally made the decision to get ready to leave, and then that's when, you know, what's his face shows up and talks about the Hawks being around and uh, dude trying to get uh, Erica's grandfather to to make those weapons for him. And then of course we we find out that it, it is indeed the Hawks that are the the former mercenaries are out there doing stuff and they're trying to uh basically get to them uh and that's what basically what happens with these uh i guess hired gun people i don't know several of them that come out um but i definitely want to mention that poor Costco because she's going through with griffith we find out that griffith uh was definitely under arrest literally i definitely i want to say that i believe that griffith of course is still alive uh corcus the bum he believes that he's he he's given up on griffith everybody else hasn't um and you know they're they're planning to go to the castle to save him to rescue him, basically to, to free him um but you know this still again poor Costco because she's she's going through she's been depressed and all of that and sad and can't eat all like that you know going through the motions because she misses you know she misses griffin um and you know it it Sort of does suck for for guts because he's out on his own. He's been out been out on his own for a year. Griffith's been in, in jail for a year. More than likely, Griffith's been uh, still. More than likely, he is alive. Like I said in my reaction at the end, basically, like Griffith placed under arrest and they gave him probably like a life sentence because because of his status and uh, how he climbed the ranks within the within the uh, kingdom. Um, but if it was anybody else, any other random person, they would have more than likely been dead, killed on the spot within within the you know twenty four hours to forty eight hours, whatever the case. They would have they would have they would have uh, basically got uh, executed. But Griffith, more than likely, he more than likely probably got like a life sentence in jail uh, for what he did with the princess. You know, uh, over, a year over a year ago that night, uh, the night that you know, of course, guts leaves. And then Griffiths goes goes and does what he does. Um, but I'm gonna talk about that other stuff in another video, like I stated in episode 19, my review of episode 19. I'm gonna be doing some separate videos on my uh, thoughts on Griffith and Guts uh, after their fight once Guts left. Um, but again, this, like I said, this sucks for Guts because he he couldn't fully get away from the Hawks, and now he's basically back with you know basically going to be back with them more than likely going to go to the castle like they were saying to go and save Griffith. so a lot of stuff is still you know he just he just can't escape them <laughs> um 
it, it just sucks. I, I'm like, dude, if he wanted to go and live his life on his own, do his own thing, he should have been able to do that. And, um, you know, he technically still had a choice here, too. I can definitely say that he had a choice to go and see the Hawks or do what he was doing. And he was leaving. As he was leaving, he could have just kept going even after hearing about the Hawks. But he, he chose to stick around and, of course, save Costco before she probably more likely got hurt and or killed uh, in that moment towards the end of episode 20. But with that, guys, that's my thoughts on episode 20. What did you all think of episode 20 when you first out there and watch it? Leave some comments in the comment section below. Uh, let's talk about some things if you feel up to it. But other than that, guys, I will hopefully talk to you all next time with more Berserk 1997 original version. Peace, guys.